Hey everybody, welcome to Jason's channel and check out all my plants that were in there. I've just moved them out for the show. Check out that tomato plant though. Can you believe that thing's actually fitting in there? Not the bananas, but the tomato plant. And I've actually got another one right here. See if I can zoom in on it. See that? Right there. Anyway, it's starting to put out flowers. So, anyway, that's not what I was showing you today. Today it's actually about. Today, this is going to be a little tough one handed, but I was going to show you how I make my pepper plants stronger. They're somewhat like tomato plants. And basically what I do is I'll, I'll get them to sprout. I'll let them grow up a little bit with not a whole lot of dirt in there. And I'll just take and, and add dirt around it. And this peat moss mix isn't really fully uh, moist yet, but it'll get there. And just kind of work it around the plant. I hope I'm holding the camera right. <laughs> but yeah, you're getting the idea. And this is actually a peat moss mix. I've been using a couple different mixes this year. Peat moss mix, which I've actually used it for years. And one that's actually now my new favorite. Coco peat. I actually broke out the bag that I got from from Ray over at the Voodoo Garden, and this stuff, it's awesome. I can't. I I wish I had started using it years ago. It holds like three times its weight in water, or two times its weight in water, or whatever. But it holds plenty of water, and I can actually walk away and not have to worry about watering these things for days. I I these brandywine seduths. I I when I when I planted them, when I transplanted them, I actually broke out the cocoa peat, or the cocoa core, and I haven't watered them since. I I might have watered them one time since then. This one here and this one here and I got another one in the mix somewhere. But I, I in the OSU Blues, they, they just sprouted a, I don't know, maybe a week ago, and they've yet to be watered for the second time. So, the stuff's great for holding water. Um, but, yeah, anyway, here's what I do. That was, you know, I just packed all the dirt around it, soil, whatever you want to call it, and hold it where you can see it <clears throat> and so there you go you know it's it's all packed around it and that's gonna root all the way around it this is one of them pepper plants I've never grown before so I don't know what to expect but I also got another little surprise can you see this right by my finger here the little green leaves this is a day till pepper and when I planted it I was being really uh, I was I was expecting it to take off and grow like right away and it didn't so I kept adding seeds and adding seeds and well next thing you know it I had three of them popping up and if I can find them real quick they're all right here in front of me. Um, well, there's two of the three. There's three of the three. Anyway, I had all three of them in the same container. And so I kept adding seeds. Next thing you know it, I had three just sprouting up all together. So I had to take the container apart, which no big deal. They're just old water bottles. And I separated them. 
and I guess when I went and filled this one back in with dirt bam I got another one popping up so yay I got I got four now uh, try not to kill it but yeah I got four now and another thing one of one of the new peppers for me I'm growing a lot of peppers right now um, I'm actually growing a purple bell pepper compliments of Gardner 3434 over at yeah uh, Shane Green over at the Gardner 3434 so thanks Shane and congratulations on a year on YouTube I know it's coming up on the 11th so what else have I got here the OSU blue I got from Praxis uh, you know really there's only a couple plants I've got here that started out from seed I already had. That would be basically my beefsteak, which you saw it on my last video. It was kind of falling over. Well, it had the lid on it, but I've been spanking my tomato and it's getting a little bit stronger. But anyway, I had that seed and I had the pink ox heart seeds. And other than that, the rest I've pretty much traded for. So if you haven't gotten to ASA and and started trading with everybody, you you should have done that like a month ago. So anyway, just wanted to show you a little trick and and show off my plants. So have a great day.